The Sud-West S6000 Triton holds a significant place in French aviation history as the first domestically designed and built jet aircraft. Its development began secretly in 1943 during the German occupation of France in World War II. Led by French aeronautical engineer Lucien Cervanti and the state-run aircraft consortium SNCESO, Société Nationale de Constructions Aéronautiques du Sud-Ouest, the Triton was envisioned as a jet-powered aircraft even before the liberation of France. France's aviation industry was devastated during the war, with most designers and factories either shut down or working under German oversight. Despite the risks, French engineers continued clandestine work, partly using knowledge obtained from German research. After the war ended in 1945, France urgently sought to re-establish its aerospace capability. The government commissioned five jet prototypes to accelerate progress and symbolically mark France's technological recovery. The original power plant choice was the Rateau Anxiana GTS-65, a French-designed turbojet. However, due to severe development issues and performance failures, this engine was never used in flight. Instead, the first prototype was powered by the German Junkers Jumo 004B2, the same engine used in the Messerschmitt Mi-262. This aircraft took its maiden flight on 11th of November 1946, piloted by Daniel Rostel, just days before an international aviation exhibition in Paris, a calculated political move to demonstrate France's return to high-tech aviation. The second prototype was used solely for static testing. The remaining three airworthy aircraft were fitted with licensed Rolls-Royce Neen 101 engines produced in France, offering significantly better performance. The SO6000 reached speeds up to 593 miles per hour and a ceiling of 39,375 feet, but suffered from vibration and stability problems at high speeds. The Triton's layout was otherwise conventional, a compact, straight-wing monoplane with a side-by-side two-seat cockpit, mid-mounted wings, and tricycle landing gear. The design allowed flexibility for engine integration, making it suitable for experimentation. Six aircraft were built in total, only four flew. Prototype number three had the longest test career with 189 flights. Prototype number one flew just eight times before retirement in 1947. The final aircraft, prototype number 06, never left the ground. None of the aircraft were equipped with the originally planned GTS-65 engine. Development ceased in the early 1950s as France focused on more advanced fighters like the Sudwest Espadon and the Syncase Mistral. The rapid pace of jet technology made the Triton obsolete before it could enter service. Today, prototype number three is preserved and displayed at the Musée de l'Air et de l'Espace at Le Bourget Airport in Paris. Though never operationally deployed, the SO6000 Triton was a milestone project that laid the groundwork for France's post-war aerospace resurgence.